Welcome back to Spicy Tech. I am Mark, and today we will be testing out supervised V12 FSD on rainy conditions, making a couple of unprotected left turns. And I want to be testing it out to see how it performs in terms of the automatic windshield wipers. That was always an issue from the past. Well, not really always an issue, but from most recent updates, automatic windshield wipers, they were not working. So now there's uh, neural networks in that. So we'll see how that performs in rainy conditions. And uh, overall, if it's going to be a natural drive and those on those turns so without further ado hold on tight and let's get going and let's go you have to make a left turn here you have to make an immediate left right here Marsha gets into position so that's good good behavior from the system so far we already have full self driving uh, being degraded we got that message here already on this left turn here, this left turn is an extremely busy left turn. There's a lot going on. There's cars going straight, cars making a left turn, cars going right to as well. And quite frequently there, there are accidents that occur in this intersection here. So in the past with V11, it rarely actually made the left turn because of so much things going on. Unless it was very clear, then it would make it, you know, fine. But now we have V12, which is heavily trained. And I'm hoping that uh, I should not have to intervene to make this left turn this might be a tough call folks so here we go we have to make the left turn now pedestrians can start crossing we have a green light i'm giving it some juice she has to go up and try to make like an s doesn't look like the system is doing it we have to do that in order to make the left turn but perhaps she can see more than i can and that was actually really really solid now she wants to go on the right side here and then start going back into the left side. Let's see what the system does. System, AKA Marsha. And we have to kind of merge into the traffic here. I'm not too sure if this is going to be a regrettable moment. <laughs> so no indication as yet. The lane is clearly closed in front of us. We have a congested left lane. But this is how it should work actually, because then you're gonna have the left lane here will always be congested and so you'll have a blocked intersection. So it's good that the actual system came into this lane to ease off of that buildup. No indication as yet still though. Windshield wipers working good so far. Okay, so she starts indicating now. Now the next hurdle would be and I got a second nag here, would be to try to get in. So will someone let me in? Let's see. We have this person here. Thank you. This person here is, uh, is giving me a squeeze in. And now we have to make a right turn coming up here. All right? We have, we have a construction zone on the right side. How is this even going to be possible? Is it still possible to make that right turn? Let's see. So she's going up here. We have to make the right over on this side here. Or is the, is the lane completely closed? I'm assuming what I would have done is I would start indicating and then I would go around the cones to get into the right lane. But I would start indicating from now so that others behind know what I'm doing, right? This is a... <laughs> This is a very unique situation we're in here. We have the whole right lane closed, but there's some space for the buses to go into the bus station on the right side. And I'm surprised that the system hasn't tried turning into the cones to get into the right lane where it needs to be. So that's impressive so far, folks. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you think so far. And if you're liking what you're seeing so far, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to as well and click the notification bell. So now she's indicating right. We need to start going right here, right? So she can go inside here. And that was really f***ing, that was, sorry. <laughs> that was really good. That was really good. Really impressive. So before V11 would have tripped out on that construction zone. It would try to get in between the space. If there's a space in between the, the pylons or the cones, it would try its best to try to get back into the right lane. But in this situation, it really kept composed. It stayed in its lane. It is really behaving like a human and you can tell that it's, it feels 
like it, it is human. So that's where the end-to-end -end neural nets and tons of video feed coming in. And we spoke about this in our previous videos too as well. It's taking its time on the corners now. It no longer speeds around the corner at full speed. And now we have another tricky left turn here. I love the positioning, right? Before it would kind of stay in the middle of the lane, blocking the bicycles, the bicycle lane on the right side. But now you can see the system positioning itself on the left, being left bias to make that left turn. So we have an unprotected left here. This car needs to stop, wait for that car to go straight. This car is also coming straight here too as well. So she needs to keep in her place and we have a car making a right turn behind there. So that's fine. So as soon as that car made the left turn, it was able to, to get in position and go. And when it's going, it's going quickly, folks. We are 10 above the speed limit, 12 above the speed limit. This is handling really, really well. Like I'm, I don't know if you're hearing it in my voice, but I'm super, <laughs> super excited because it's performing like a human. It could start getting in this lane if it wanted to. And we got another nag too as well. So that's the third nag. Starts getting into the lane, positioning itself to make that left turn well in advance. All right, folks, so we're back at it now. So we have a protected left turn. We need to get up to speed. That automatic max speed should be, you know, going at it right now. And it keeps up with the flow of traffic. We have to make this left turn and it does so really well. A little bit slow, but it was because the car in front was going at a slower speed too as well. Ah, and it gives the right of way for that person who has indicated and wants to make that left turn on the this left lane. Gets back up to speed, this person indicates in an intersection which he shouldn't be doing. So that wasn't good on their part. But I, I do still have some hope with the automatic uh, speed offset that I showed you initially. I, I, I still, I like it now because it feels like it's flowing with the traffic. Otherwise, if the road is clear, it tends to go like 20 kilometers above the speed limit, which isn't great. It's not, uh, it's not legal. You could definitely get ticketed for that. So has to make a left turn here. And it does so really smoothly. It creeps up, gets into it, makes the left turn, almost going into the oncoming lane, but quickly corrects itself. Then we have somebody on the right side that's already stopped. So we have to just go around them slowly. And she does that too. And it was very calculated in terms of its speed and so on. It's slowing down here, perhaps because of the puddle on the right side. But it needs to go up faster. The max speed is is uh, 30. We just got wet. It needs to go up some more here. All clear. How we can go. But now, if she's going a little bit too spicy there. Getting a little bit too spicy there. You have to make a right turn here. So that part there was a little bit unnatural, but everything else so far has been great in terms of the unprotected lefts. All the left, the left turns were really well executed. It felt really confident, really assertive. It no longer feels aggressive or too timid. The windshield wipers have been fixed. With the rain, there's no more, you know, waiting for the windshield wipers to actually wipe away the the rain when it should have done so a lot earlier the nagging i think it feels more or less the same ish um not not any huge difference there uh, i got about three or four nags this round and in terms of everything else it seems more or less pretty fine i want to try out this here and just to see how well it actually gets us into a parking position. So you can see here now, 
And I do find, uh, based on how it has been performing, that performing so far really is that it's been performing pretty well the 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 automatic park the auto park is actually it has been improved a lot so i'm just looking to make sure everything is good hmm wants to go up it's still of course a little bit slow but in terms of recognizing the the car spots the the parking spots it um it does a good job now it does a really good job now so you can see that you know it, it works it doesn't have the the uh the new auto park where you can we can select the parking spot that it identifies that's what the vision only systems right now i still have ultrasonic sensors so um it, you can still tell that it has been trained very well for parking spots so because in, with the auto parking in the past iterations, the previous iterations, uh, V11 and so on, it, it, it had difficulty picking up these, these uh, spots. These are also slanted, slanted parking spots too as well. So they're not directly straight, they're slanted and it did pick it up well too. So I'm impressed. Overall folks, you know, I'm honestly really impressed with V12 right now. I can see that it, it is getting to, it is supervised because it has just been me looking at the sides, looking at the rear view mirror to make sure no one rear ends me. The system handles really natural. It handles a lot more human-like than anything I've seen before. And it is something to really look forward to. I hope you enjoyed this ride. I hope you can join me in my future journeys too as well. And us in our future journeys when I'm here with Cry, my wife. And if you liked it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. And also, if you want to get yourself a Daily Lab Star Glow Car Diffuser, I will leave that link in the description below. The code, the discount code is spicy and you can get 15% off. Thank you again for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.